guys, welcome back to my channel for you guys that don't know. My name is Stephanie and I'm currently living in a hotel in Japan, but that is not important because what is important is where I'm gonna take you guys today. Because today I get to take you guys to one of my favorite places in all of Tokyo. It's called Nakameguro. So you actually might recognize Nakameguro because it's super famous for cherry blossoms. However, I am so, so, so sorry. There's actually no cherry blossoms left, but I'm gonna take you on the next best thing, which is a food and drink adventure. Yay. <laughs> and also, on top of that, it's a two-part series. So today's video, we're gonna cover everything you can go check out in the morning and afternoon. And then the next next video, <laughs> we're gonna check out everything that you can do at night. So without any further ado, let's go. <laughs> First up we have is Onibus behind Nakameguro Station. This place is quintessential if you like coffee and you're in the area. It's really well known by everyone there and the staff are super friendly and as an extra added bonus, they even speak English. The place is two levels so you can enjoy yourself upstairs or downstairs, but please note it can get a little loud because the trains are running right next door. Hopefully it doesn't ruin your morning coffee. Ohayou gozaimasu! So today we're starting off our day in Nakameguro in Onibus. So Onibus is actually one of the most popular coffee shops in Nakameguro. I'm pretty sure if you look up Nakameguro and coffee, this is probably the first place that pops up. So you have to come and give it a go. Mm. So when I went to order, I wanted a recommendation and they recommended that, you know, they have a lot of light roast here, which is, you know, personally my own preference. So if you like a light roast, you know where to come. <laughs> In this stunning building, you'll find Swell Coffee Roasters. So this place is known for coffee, their architecture, and their fruit sandwiches. However, I'm here for something a little different, something a little out of this world. <laughs> I can't wait to share with you guys today what I found. All right, next up we're at Swell Coffee here, and I'm actually here not for the coffee, but actually for the sandwiches. So here we have an Elvis sandwich. It has banana in it, bacon in it, and peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna see how this actually goes. Hopefully it turns out well. All things are delicious on their own, but together, yeah, we're about to find out if it works. It's Takimasu. Mmm. Mmm. I know, I think it's mouthful. Weird, but it kind of works. Like, that's so weird. Yeah, it's weirdness from the banana. And the bacon is super crispy, so it doesn't like, you know, interfere with my chewing. Yeah. Trust Japan to be one of the places to combine like four different ingredients that kind of don't go together but end up going together well. Japan. Mmm. <laughs> well, 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 So this place actually has a one person, one drink policy. So although we just had coffee, just an excuse to have another coffee, I guess. Dark roast. <laughs> Along Meguro River, we'll find Johan. Johan is really well known in Nakameguro for their cheesecakes and they've been here forever. They're all handmade and they're absolutely delicious. I can't wait to share with you guys today. Next up, we're at Johan's, which is really famous for their cheesecakes, which have cream cheese, like Philadelphia cream cheese inside. Usually on the weekend, there's always like a super long line. So luckily today, there is no line and we can go in freely. <laughs> inside, I asked for their recommendation on what was their best seller. So the best seller is actually the natural. And then she actually recommended us the metal, which is what we got today. She said it's a little bit sweeter. So let's see how we go. Itadakimasu. Oh, it's so soft. Imagine if I ate the whole thing. <laughs> Mmm, so creamy. <laughs> the texture is so creamy, but it's also got that firmness to it, which I'm kind of surprised to be honest. And then the like base is all like buttery and biscuity. It's actually really good. It's very homemade and it feels like it was made with love. <laughs> Next up is a local secret of Nakameguro. Akamaru is one of the most amazing places and hidden gems in Nakameguro. It's super small and super cozy, but don't let the appearance fool you. The food is absolutely to die for. Guys, don't let the non-English menu intimidate you. Get the cheese curry and thank me later. Trust me on this one. Trust me. The cheese is like, yes, yeah, melted so well, but because it's like a booty, like porch, like it's got crispy bits in it as well, and there's like corn. Oh gosh, it's so good. Mm. 
every time. <laughs> Let's try this meat. Oh my gosh, I can like when I chew it and the crispy part. Mm. Oh my god. Oh, it's so soft. Last victory. Eight out. This has to be my favorite curry that I found in Tokyo by far. It was so good. I'm so happy. None for Josh. I'm Donut is the new kid on the block in Nakamegro. There is so much hype around this place that there is a massive as line all the time now. I had to wait, can you believe it? Not just one hour, but up to one and a half hours for donuts, which is, I feel like, ridiculous. I had to stare at these donuts through the window for an hour and a half. And it's because there are two lines. There's one line to order and then one line to pick up. One hour later. I'm telling you now, by Japanese standards, it's pretty inefficient and honestly, a little infuriating. But don't worry guys, I eventually get my food, but I'm definitely hangry by the time I get it. I'm warning you now, it's hangry stuff. <laughs> okay guys, we finally got the donuts after waiting for over an hour, which seems ridiculous. So ladies, better be the best donuts that I've ever had. I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, they're kind of smushed though, whoops. It wasn't my fault. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, they don't even look that good. I'm already mad. I'm hungry. So this is the one I chose. Oh. <laughs> I got a wrap. Look at this <laughs> ah. Okay, so this is the one that I chose. This is the prosciutto donut because I've never seen a prosciutto donut before so yeah it looks kind of deflated and a little bit sad and kind of has some pistachio which is Josh's one on it but you know it better taste freaking good it looks a little smooshed though I'm not gonna lie and I dropped some of it there's like half an hour's wait there all right let's eat itadakimasu <laughs> Tastes still raw. Is it just me, guys? Let's break it open and have a look. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I feel like the inside is still raw. Or maybe, I don't know. Okay, maybe it's not. I don't know. Well, there are olives in here, I think. I think those are olives. Disgusting! I don't know why I swallow it. So, it does belong on the floor. Oh, my mouth feels like soap. Definitely better than yours. At least there's like all that pistachio. But I still feel like the dough is weird. There are a lot of mixed reviews on Google. Like some of them were one star, some of them were five stars. And it's a brand new place. I thought some people were being a bit harsh. But no, I give it a oh. one star. That like, I feel like I have soap in my mouth. It's so bad. Like I need to go to a convenience and wash my mouth out. All right, so this next place is one of my favorite new finds here in Nakamegro. It is a coffee slash bar slash art gallery as well, all wrapped in one. But the thing about this place is you wouldn't even know that it's any of those things because the windows are so tinted that it doesn't even look open. But if you know, you know, and when you head inside, it's one of those places where you don't really just go there to get a quick coffee. You actually go there for the environment and for the atmosphere. So when we're inside, I'm actually just gonna sit back, enjoy some food, enjoy the music, and yeah, let's go. Inside Epula, you'll find that they're playing jazz music via a record and they change it every song as well. So the vibes are just so cool. You also note that there's only one guy working the whole store. So he's making everyone's coffee and he's making everyone's food. So my tip is don't call Sumimasen. He'll get to you when he gets to you because he knows. Trust me, I've been there enough to know. Also, guys, what is this cake? Write down below what you think this cake is. Can you guess? Can you guys believe that this black, beautiful cake is actually da -da -da -da, cheesecake? I know, it's insane. And it actually tastes really, really good. And there's me just annoying Josh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Busted. Also third coffee count, so I'm talking really fast now. Woo! <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are still here tuning in, as you can see, Japan has a lot of amazing places that are beautiful and delicious and totally worth the wait. And then they have some that are not. <laughs> Like quite simply put, like there's always going to be hits and misses on these food and drink adventures and today I thought it would be really fun to share with you one of the misses and you can see, you know, hangry Steph and Steph when she's disappointed when she gets bad food, which is not cute, but I digress. <laughs> it's all a part of the journey. Anyways, I hope to see you guys in the next video because remember the next video is the nighttime version so you get to see all the places that I go to at night in Nagamegaro. So I hope to see you guys then. But yeah, that's it for this video. Bye. <laughs> Is it underneath my shoe? On my shoe? I don't fucking know. Is it? It's gone. <laughs> That's what the taste of the prosciutto actually is. Oh my gosh. Prosciutto oh, tastes dying. exactly like that. I'm dying. We, I, I couldn't eat it. Sorry. Alright.